Hi guys, there you are. So this is scientist of the day, Dr. Louis Hastings Sarrett. This guy was born on 22nd of December 1917 and died in 1999. He was born in Shimping, Illinois. This American chemist lived in Lowno, Wisconsin, somewhere that well known as America's dairy land. It is because they are very famous for its tea. Sarit started his career at Merck & Co. in 1942, right after he received his doctorate. His career in Merck spanned for 28 years. He retired in 1982 as Senior Vice President for Science and Technology, which, with approximately 100 technical papers and patents he had published. So, Lewis Hastings Sarek attended high school in Highland Park, Illinois. In 1935, he enrolled in Northwestern University, which originally he thought that he might major in mathematics, but the chemistry department just discovered that he actually had a natural talent in chemistry more than in advanced mathematics. Realized that he changed his mind and become and became a chemistry major student. Within that four years, he he did well in his studies in chemistry courses and just graduated from Northwestern University with Pi Beta Kappa honors. What is Pi Beta Kappa honors? Okay, so let me tell a bit. Pi Beta Kappa honors is the oldest academic honors oldest academic honors in United States which uh, described as the most prestigious academic honors that you can get due to its long history and academic selectivity. So with such qualification, he finally experienced his doctorate in Princeton University when he was offered uh, a teaching assistantship position by the time. Even though Princeton University by the time was strong in physical chemistry, but Sarek insisted to do synthesis. Hmm. Guys, besides gasoline academic background, this Lewis Hassan Sarek also really loves playing chess. He really, really loves playing chess even during his retirement day. Hmm. Also, he, he, with encouragement from his father, who formerly was athlete in college, he indulged himself indulge himself into wrestling. So where can you find um, a chemist who is also good in wrestling? So this is the man. This is the man. Hmm. I think not many people know about this. Do you know that Collins reagent actually um, just uh, an improved version of certain reagent? Which was the correlation with Dr. Lewis Hastings Sarin? There is it. Let me explain. The first usage of serum reagent was mentioned in 1953 article co-authored by Sir Dr. Lewis Hastings Sarit, which um, the article relates to uh, the synthesis of adrenal steroids. The paper proposed the usage of iridine chromium complex to oxidize primary alcohol. In, if you relate this with organic chemistry, we know that um, primary alcohol can be oxidized into carboxylic acid and aldehyde. The difference is just that if you use strong uh, oxidizing agent, you will get carboxylic acid. But if you use weak oxidizing agent, you will get aldehyde. So the synthesis, uh, the usage of this serum agent is to uh, oxidize primary alcohol cap at aldehyde, not further to to become carboxylic acid. For the investigation from this paper, researchers uh, agreed to name the chromium into serum reagent. An injection of cortisone uh, can be used can be used to give uh, short term pain relief and reduce the swelling from inflammation of joint or tendon. It was believed that um, injection of cortisone can increase increase endurance of German pilots at high altitude, which is uh, it's critical by during World War II. Hmm. 
So this means, while Sarah excel in organic synthesis of cortisol, he also um, have contribution had contribution in organometallic chemistry, which is the Sarah reagent, which is that is good for uh, a chemist to able to discover two things in one time. Okay, guys, uh, I hope you gained something from this video, and last for me. Never stop learning because life never stops teaching. Thanks for watching. See you later.